Hello and welcome to this course on MATLAB programming for numerical computations. My name is Professor Niket Kaisere and I welcome you to start this journey for 12 weeks to learn MATLAB programming to solve problems of interest to scientists and engineers. The learning objectives of the course are listed over here. The first learning objective is of course to learn the basics of MATLAB programming and thereafter to understand numerical methods so that we can use them to solve problems of interest to us. We will use MATLAB in order to solve computational problems of relevance to scientists and engineers and that's going to provide a holistic overview of this entire exciting world of numerical computations. About MATLAB, MATLAB is a high level computing language. It's a mix of two words, matrix and laboratory. So MATLAB naturally works with arrays, matrices and vectors and that is one of the key features of MATLAB as a programming language. As a result, it's widely used in computational analysis, control, signal processing, communication and certain other fields. The website of MATLAB is listed over here. It has a lot of toolboxes for engineers, scientists, finance, uh, image processing and so on that allows us to expand its capabilities beyond what we are going to learn in this course. So what are the prerequisites? So because this is an introductory course on MATLAB, it is geared towards undergraduate and postgraduate students likewise. So you can pretty much do this course in your second semester of undergraduate as well as uh, for senior undergraduates as well as well as for postgraduates. So the prerequisites are quite simple. I only assume basics of linear algebra and calculus, which is usually taught in high school and in the first semester math courses in a typical curriculum. In addition, what is good to have is some kind of a background in any in using computers, some kind of a background in numerical techniques, but that's not really a prerequisite because we are going to learn all of these in this course itself. The software that we are going to use in this course is of course going to be MATLAB. Assignment problems will be given to you and you will be expected to solve them using MATLAB. Some of you may have access to MATLAB in your colleges and you can continue using your, your version of MATLAB. But if not, we will provide access to online version of MATLAB courtesy of MathWorks. The link to accessing MATLAB is provided over here. Now there are a few alternative softwares to MATLAB and those are GNU Active and Scilab amongst a few others. We are not going to use these softwares for this course but I am listing these over here so that you are aware of certain alternatives. These are the books and resources that we are going to use. The primary books that we are going to use in this course, uh, course are Numerical Methods Using MATLAB by Lauren Fawcett. Uh, for the theoretical aspects related to this course, I teach a numerical methods for engineers that course is usually taught in the July semester and the link to this course is given below. I also have a book uh, which is geared towards postgraduate and senior undergraduate students that's not an introductory book that's an advanced level book. So if you are interested in advanced level material in MATLAB you are welcome to look at the things that are covered in this book as well. The, the reference to this book is listed over here. Okay. So with that, I come to the end of this video. I welcome you to enjoy this 12 week of learning with me. Thanks and bye.